Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question how to go back to an older Windows system. I mean, when you want to go back from Windows 10 to Windows 8, which I definitely do not recommend, but maybe uh, for some people it's uh, required for some drivers or so. But especially if you want to go back within Windows 10, most people are, I think, already on Windows 10 and there are always uh, about two updates every year. Let's say you are on uh, the version 2004 within Windows 10, which is the latest edition, I think, and it's not working. How to go back to, let's say, 1903 or so? Yeah, I think at this point it's uh, really important to tell something from technical side. There is no like downgrade button or so. There's no downgrade function. It's not. There's nothing like uh, when you do the upgrade you can click on upgrade and there's no other button around where you can say downgrade this is usually not existing in any kind of software no nobody's paying for a downgrade function and uh, it's also very very difficult it would be really difficult to implement so usually there's just an upgrade functionality implemented uh, but there are workarounds uh, for this so definitely if you want to downgrade that would mean that you have to delete your existing system you wipe all your data and you would have to reinstall an older version but there's also a big uh, problem to get the older version okay, here we have a small overview that's from microsoft unfortunately german version but uh, i guess you get the point here anyway these are the latest, latest Windows 10 versions, 2004 currently, then 1909, 1903. So I am still currently on 1903. So the question is then how to go safe to 1909 or 2004. I mean, we almost have to do that because you can see there is a service end pretty soon, especially for my version here, where still a lot of people are on the service end is already in December. 2020 so it's important to upgrade but uh, a lot of people are hesitating because they are afraid because they know 2004 has, has a lot of problems and how to go back then uh, because it's almost impossible when we go to the official windows site where we can download the windows updater and or installer we can uh, see, I mean, we here's the site, and we go down then to the download tool, and we can select which type of Windows we have, like 32 bits, 64 bits. We can say a, pri a private or a personal or pro or so, but uh, there's no way to uh, tell Microsoft or the tool that we want to get an older version, like 1909 or 1903. It's just always. Uh, downloading and then installing uh, uh, the latest version which would be 2004 so how to go back and I have found only one possibility and that's uh, through the Rufus tool so here we have this tool the website is rufus.ie and yeah here's the thing the problem is I mean, you need uh, to have a USB stick, of course. Uh, eight gigabytes is required at least, or recommended. I think eight gigabytes is still enough. And the thing is, it's not easy to find the right version because when you got get here, I mean, the tool is free, it's reliable. I haven't found any problems so far. I'm using this since quite long time. Also, a lot of other people, it looks like it's re reliable. But when you download, the latest version so you can see most people would click on this thing here rufus currently latest version 3.11 and when you uh, invoke this thing there is nothing uh, like uh, where you can download older windows versions so th the only version which i have found is this one here rufus 3.11 portable so you have to really download the portable version and only then you will get uh, you will get access to older windows versions and i'm going to show you that here how this works so here I have both versions. So that's the, I mean, it's the 2.14, but it's not a big difference 
it's uh, very similar to the 3.11 but it's the not portable and you can see there's nothing about uh, upgrade to uh, windows or downgrade to uh, windows uh, older windows system but here we have the link to the portable system i mean the portable is rufus uh, then then version and then it has a p so it must have a p.exe and when we invoke this thing here it looks a little bit different so you have to give a permission of course and here we can see it looks totally different so i mean to properly work we have to insert the usb stick before uh, so rufus can detect the usb stick so i have done it again and now you can see i have the 64 gigabyte stick here and we leave this on disk or iso image that's good and here we go to download we select download and when download is selected we have to click again on download that's important it's a little bit difficult to find and we have the possibility to go back to windows 8.1 or download uh, an older version within windows 10 and we can click and click and click and you can see you can go uh, back to older versions here these are the versions which are available now and then you continue and then you select what you have education or home pro and then it goes on and on and on and uh, at the end uh, you should be ready click continue and when your version is available uh, it will download and install it to the stick and uh, but the thing is of course it's not a normal upgrade it's not the uh, same thing as an upgrade you really have to reinstall windows there's no uh, no way you can really downgrade there has never been I think a possibility like to downgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 7 or Windows 10 to Windows 8 uh, nobody's going to implement such a thing there's always just upgrade there's no software which allows you to downgrade usually and same thing with Windows so if you want to go back to an older Windows you have to save all your data all your files which are needed and then you basically delete uh, everything or reinstall you go and reboot go to the BIOS make sure that it will boot from your USB stick first prior to the hard disk drive and then uh, you can install the needed version from this uh, Rufus uh, made USB stick and regarding serial number you don't have to be worried about that uh, it was usually with the older windows versions where you had to provide a serial key but with the latest uh, versions like us usually windows 8 and all windows 10 versions the serial key is stored in the motherboard like the pc itself and windows or microsoft should be able to detect it so uh, you don't have to enter serial key uh, if it will ask you for a serial key just click on i don't know my serial key and then usually uh, the program will be able to detect that so yeah that's actually it for now that's the only solution which i have found and uh, i hope it will work for you so if you have any questions or comments or better solutions whatever you have please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about your things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time